What's going on, everybody? Canuck here, and it has been a while since our last video, but today, PGA Tour 2K23 dropped a new patch, and this patch has some new designer assets, something we have been begging for since the start of the game. So I want to go through these today because there's some really, really, really nice ones, especially with rocks and trees. Well, it's mostly rocks and trees, but I'm going to show you guys each individual one, and uh, there's some really good ones here. And also some more good news from what I understand is there are more to come. And I may tease a little bit more of that at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that as well. So I just want to show you guys uh, quick this new patch that came out. Not really a patch, didn't really do too many fixes for the designer. Not like there's too much wrong with the designer right now anyway. It's in a pretty good state as is. But we do have some awesome new rocks and trees and i want to start with the rocks because these have been sorely sorely needed for quite a long time and uh we've got some really nice options here starting with these kind of a brownish like almost desert step style rocks you can do lots with these and they vary in size too and also as you're looking the quality on them is is quite good like they're not like low res or anything like that they are quite nice so We've got some nice options here with uh, step rocks. So you'll find these on the first page. I guess more deserty style rocks. Lots of kind of layers and different shapes. Lots of different ideas. So there's lots here. And as you can see, there's some really big ones as well to make some really large rock formations. I'm gonna see. I'm sure we'll see a lot of people stacking these and making some really really neat formations. Look at these really long columnar. Is that a word? Columnar. <laughs> Uh, ones there. So some really cool ones here. You could do like a Utah style landscape. Who knows? I love that one there. That's a beauty. I even put some of these into this new course that I'm working on. This one's nice. So yeah, some really cool ones here. Here's some more almost like pancake layer. I don't even know how to describe this, but some interesting ones here. Really, really cool stuff there. So there's, there's even more. There's almost two, three pages of this. Lots of really neat rock formations that you're going to be able to play with. That one, huge, 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 huge ones here. This is a nice big flat one. And again, sinking these into the ground. I mean, you're going to be able to create a ton of awesome stuff. Look at this one. This one's pretty cool too. Little kind of four different columns there, it looks like. There are lots and lots and lots to play with here. That's not all. So most of these are just kind of regular rocks, but it actually picks up again over here. And as you can see, these rocks just have a lot more detail to them than the ones we're used to. And just the more of these folds and outcroppings are just going to create some really awesome looks. I love that one. That one can make some really nice like outcroppings. Those are smaller ones too. This one's more of a flatter one there. This one is huge, but again, I like a little rocky outcropping there. And there's more here. My guess is these were probably from the top of the rock uh, when that course came out, that par 3 course. My guess is most of these are from there, just based on kind of how they look. A lot of smaller ones here. You know, these ones could really look like kind of those ones that you saw on the top of the rock, the par 3 there. So some real beauties here. And lots of different, lots and lots of different examples. Just repeating myself. I can only talk so much about rocks here. But just wanted to show you guys each and every one of these, because there are quite a few. Here's some more little darker colored ones. These are great for cliffs. I mean, rocky cliffs. I mean, a lot of people were using the logs to create kind of the, the detail on rocky cliffs. Uh, that's done for you. That looks great. So a few of these are really, really nicely done. I can see some people doing some pretty cool stuff with this, and I'm sure I'm going to be experimenting with these too because these are some nice looks. Get ready for lots of rocks on golf courses coming up. And I think that was about it. Yeah, those are about it for rocks. Uh, we also have some really nice trees as well. Now, as you can see, we've got up to 53 pages of trees, so I think I've identified them all. I think we've got some bushes here. Maybe this one, I believe this bush is new here. And then we have most of our new stuff. 
evolves around a few certain trees. And it's mostly with these cypress. These are brand new, uh, some of these cypress trees. And again, some really good detail. And they're better than the cypress ones we had that had that really, really bright green. They look kind of unrealistic. Here we could really make a nice, true California Pacific, um, or like Pacific Northwest, Pebble Beach style. Of course, these are some beautiful cypress trees here. And we get quite a few of them. I believe these are new too. So there, there, there's quite a bit there. That one's great. Look at that one. And again, I'm not 100% sure if that one's new, but I'm like 99% sure that's a new one. So we've got a few really nice ones here. Uh, and then I think it kind of stops right about here. So some nice cypress ones. Uh, we also have some new oak trees, if I'm not mistaken. I just check my double check my notes, make sure I'm looking on the right page. I believe they start here. Somewhere in this area here. I think they start here. So some nice oak trees here. These are new as well. So maybe some more parkland look. I like that bushy tree. Some kind of sideways trees here. So some really nice ones. Really, really, really nice ones here. And again, I can't really tell where they start and where they stop. I think these are older ones now, too. So we've got a few of those. Um, we also have a few pine trees as well that I believe start around here. Really look like pines. I feel like that's mislabeled as a pine tree. Doesn't really look like a pine tree, does it? Eh, maybe. It's more like a looks like more like a leafy tree, but maybe that's just mislabeled, but. Nice looks here. A little bit more scruffy looking trees. Nice sideways one there. That one's cool. These may be new, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, these are definitely new. These are definitely new. These are great. These really thin, wispy pines. This one's a beauty here. Like an iconic coastal one. A little bit of moss on it. It's a nice look. That one there, this one too. So some definitely, I think some new looks can be created with what we've got with rocks and with um, with trees here as well. There's one extra little thing that uh, a few people noticed that got added. Um, I'm trying to remember where it might be. There was something that was labeled as a shed, I believe, or a shelter. It, and it's just like a little piece of curved road. But I, I can't remember where it is right now. You'll have to excuse me here because I don't can't quite remember where these are. Oh, here, maybe in here. Sheds. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. It's basically just like a little curved road. Unfortunately, this patch there isn't really too much new in terms of buildings. There isn't anything new with buildings and things like that. However. I am under the understanding that coming very soon, I don't know when, um, but keep an eye out for some more building assets, as well as maybe a few more things around wa rock walls, maybe some castle kind of pieces, things like that. Specifically, if you're looking at more a UK Linksy style course, I think there's going to be some toys for you guys to play with down the road. And that is all I will say about that. So keep an eye on that because they are not done updating the assets for this course or for the this designer. And I'm very, very happy to hear that. That is very good news because we know the assets were getting a little bit stale. So anyway, there it is. Go have fun. Make some new rock formations. Make some, uh, you know, make some new themes with trees and stuff and let me know how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.